That breaking news, the search for a missing middle school student in Lake Fairview has come to a heartbreaking end. The student was thrown overboard yesterday while rowing out on the lake. Another child was sent to the hospital. The student's disappearance sparked a search that lasted nearly 24 hours, ending with a tragic discovery tonight. West News tonight, Gavita Gettigas is live at the scene. And tonight, can you tell us when that student was actually found? At 515 this evening, it's a heartbreaking end to a search that lasted 24 hours. It was so emotional being out here with everyone else who was on edge waiting for updates. But people in this community have shown a lot of support through all of this. Some of them left these flowers behind and at some points we saw others bring food and water bottles as first responders, the dive team and others worked tirelessly to find the student who was missing. A memorial is growing outside the gate of North Orlando rowing club. We're told the student who was missing was one of five middle schoolers and members of the rowing team. They were practicing on the water yesterday evening before sundown when there were reports of a lightning strike in the area. The boat capsized. One person was sent to the hospital. The three other students were able to go home safely to their families. This was a team effort. First responders have stayed here through the night since the call came in and spent the whole day searching. Orlando Fire and Police, Orange County Fire and Rescue, Orange and Seminole County Sheriff's offices all worked together. We also learned that the missing student attended Annunciation Catholic Academy. The principal of that school sent an email to families to let them know that they would have extra counselors at the school today to support students and staff. North Orlando Rowing declined to speak with us, but they posted this message on Facebook saying in part, the rowers, their families and coaches of North Orlando Rowing are devastated. We are working through this as we always do as a team. We don't know all the details. When we know more, we will share. We ask for privacy and respect during this difficult time. As far as the student who was sent to the hospital yesterday, we are waiting to learn more about their condition. We're live in Orlando. Sinai Gavrigetigas, Washington News.